Are you ready for one of the cleanest and fairest Acan style effects out there? Well, are you? Roll that intro. G'day champion, how are you? Welcome back to Murphy's Magic Stumped. My name is Bo Creamer. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're having an incredible day doing whatever you're doing. Oh, okay, so today is a big one. We had a lot of questions about this effect over the weekend. So I thought what better effect to talk about on today's Stumped than Christian Grace's Miracle One. I have to start this video off by saying I first saw this at the beginning of the year at the session convention and it blew me away. I was stumped. And if you were at the session convention and you saw this as well, you know how badly this stumped you. It is that good. Now, before we jump into the full explanation and breakdown of what Miracle One actually is and what you're gonna get, let's check out the trailer right now. The idea of being able to get a chosen card to appear at a freely selected number has obsessed magicians for decades. It's one of the most fooling and intriguing effects possible with a pack of cards. In 2021, I released a video of my handling of the Any Card, Any Number plot. Within minutes, I was receiving messages from magicians all over the world, asking if the method I was using was real or whether it had used a stooge. The method was real and the reactions were genuine. That's really good. I designed Miracle One because I wanted to be able to guarantee that the effect worked every single time. I also wanted to make it feel hands off. My aim was to make it seem as if I couldn't have influenced or controlled anything. The audience feel as if they could have chosen any card and any number. If you've watched any of my trailers before, you'll know what's coming next. You're gonna see a full performance with one continuous camera shot. This is your chance to see the effect in its raw, unedited form. Lena, thank you for joining me. I'd like to show you something quite incredible. We have two decks of cards here, and I'd like you to choose either deck. The blue one. Right, so move it closer to yourself, and we're going to come back to that in a moment. But first off, we need a card selected, like a bit like a raffle, right? So we need these thoroughly mixed. Are you comfortable shuffling cards? Mm -hmm. Do you give these a, a shuffle for me, like this? I'll move this over there. That's it. And I'd like you to place the cards face up on the table and I'd like you to cut the deck and complete the cut. Now, every time the cards are cut, it, it brings a completely different card into play. And because we're cutting these face up, I can see these cards. So I want to park a prediction, but I want to make it mysterious. Pick them up, turn them face down, and place one face down over here. It's mysterious because we don't know what it is, right? But you shuffled and you cut. So place these over here, we don't need them anymore. This is where this deck comes into play, and this is where I need you to think of a number between one and 52. Mm -hmm. You got one already? Yeah. Okay. Look at me, think of the number. This isn't a high number, is it? No. Oh, it's worth a try. <laughs> Why don't you tell them what your number is? Go ahead. 21. 21. How fair is that? It's in your head, 21. But here's the best bit. There is a card in here at the 21st position. I want you to take the cards out of the box for me. I won't touch the deck, go ahead. That's it, hold them face down, all right? And deal 20 cards here, but deal the 21st card over there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. This is the 21st card. You could have named any number between one and 52. Deal this card face down here for a moment. Now, let's just recap. You took that deck, you shuffled it. You then cut anywhere, is that correct? Mm -hmm. You could have cut anywhere and you placed a card aside. You then chose a number between one and 52, which would have given you any of these cards here or any of these cards here. Correct? Turn it over. Let's have a look what you have. The Eight of Hearts. It'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Here are the key points for you to know. First of all, the effect works every single time. Their chosen card is always at their name number. Secondly, there's no difficult sleight of hand whatsoever. And lastly, I truly believe that this is one of the most deceptive versions of the plot due to its multi-layered methods. This is Miracle One. How 
how good does that look? And you can see why we're getting questions from a lot of people saying, is this too good to be true? And also, were you as badly stuffed as I am watching that trailer? Do you have any idea what's going on? Let me know in the comment section below. If you were stumped, give me a good thumbs up. If you were stumped, if you weren't stumped and knew exactly what was going on, leave me with a big smiley face. Don't do any reveals. Don't explain anything. Just a big smiley face to let me know that you know what was going on. Because I was stumped. Christian Grace, you little ripper, you've done it again. So without any further ado, let's jump into the full explanation and breakdown of Miracle One by Christian Grace. This part of the program is brought to you by Magician's Brand Magic Wax. It works on many things besides marking cards and levitations. <coughs> it also works on the mustache and as a hair gel. You'll look good. <sighs> I've never been more excited for an explanation in my life. So just before I click play, I can see that this explanation goes for one hour, seven minutes and 42 seconds. As my Aunt Irma used to say, that's a tasty length for an explanation. Well, let's go. Hello everyone and welcome. This is my- Hello Christian. Presenting. It's very fun, there's lots to learn. So let's dive straight in. Right, let's look at the dirty details. <laughs> so first we're gonna be looking at- <laughs> Okay, sorry, what? Hey, that is clever. Very clever, Christian. Very clever indeed. Get, I say, Andy, I want you to cut the cards again, but this time. Oh, okay, I love this so much. That is super clever. I feel like I'm saying that a lot, but there is a lot of clever thinking in this, and there's a lot of tried and tested methods that obviously Christian has worked really hard on to get this down. Oh, okay. There's a lot to like unpack here and talk about. So without any further ado, let's jump in and break down everything you're gonna learn in Miracle One. <sighs> Brace yourself. All right, that was a lot of explanation, a lot of good thinking. So let's get into the full breakdown of everything in Miracle One. So let's start off with how it's shot. Does it look good? Is it pleasing to the eyeballs? Absolutely, it is shot by Vanishing Ink, so the production quality, the value is way up there, and Christian's face, oh, what a good looking face. And you're actually seeing on screen right now exactly how it looks when you'll be viewing it at home or on the bus. Now, how expensive is this miracle? Well, the retail is $75, and honestly, you get a lot for this. You get two decks of cards and a lot of methods and a lot of handlings, so you get a lot, a lot of value for your money but more on what you get in the box in just a second. Now, if this is enough for you and you had enough of me yabbering on about it, there's a link in the description below right now so we can pick Miracle One up, or you can get it just up here. There's a link just up here as well, or it'll be available worldwide at your favorite magic shop. Now, with Miracle One, we need to learn any crazy sleight of hand. Actually, no, not at all. There's methods and routines in here that were created by Christian, where the spectator does absolutely everything for you. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. Okay, so let's cover what is in the box. So in this gorgeous box, you receive two decks, one red and one blue. And the blue is a gaff deck and the red is just a normal deck with a few extra replacement cards. Plus you also receive the detailed instructional video link where Christian covers everything you need to know about these two incredible decks. Now what's not included in this box? Well, the like button, it's available just down there. So make sure you smash that like button to experience the full tastiness of this episode. Cheers champion. Now who is going to be performing this miracle? Now, Christian is a close-up magician, so this is built and tested for close-up work, for walk around at tables right under your spectators' noses. But this will also play incredibly well at a parlor show or on a stage. It is absolutely impossible and can be performed anywhere. So whether you're performing at your resident restaurant gig, you're on the stage, you're to corporate events, you're on the moon, wherever you are, you're going to be wanting to perform Miracle One. Now let's break up this breakdown with the mid-episode giveaway, but before we jump into what this week's giveaway is, let's find out who won last week's Queen Slut Bundle. Now I've chosen my random winner, and congratulations Zero Hour TV, my friend. You're the winner of last week's Queen Bundle Extravaganza. If you can email me just here, my friend, I'll get those prizes out to you quicker, and you can make a coin disappear. Now if you haven't checked out last week's stuff, make sure you check it out straight after this video, card on screen right now. Now onto this week's competition. If you want a chance to win a Miracle Card Bundle, all you need to do is comment below what card you would choose and what number you would choose for an ACAN. Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section below. I'll choose someone out at random and you'll be announced in next week's video. So good luck. All right, champion, ready to check out more videos just like this one? Make sure you check out our YouTube channel where we drop new videos every single day. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe because why not? Save yourself coming back later.
Now, what is taught in this explanation? Well, a lot, there is a lot taught. Now I mentioned you get two decks of cards in this box, but you also get a lot of explanation on how to handle both decks, different methods, different handlings. If you wanna borrow the decks, all of this is covered in the explanation video and in great detail and from multiple camera angles and multiple times. So you're never gonna miss out on what's happening. You're never gonna be left questioning what's going on. Plus there's also a Facebook group where if you've, you've purchased the Miracle One, you can go there, talk about methods of handling, talk about different things, problem solving, all that kind of stuff. So even after the fact, Christian will be available to answer all and every question you have on Miracle One. So there's a lot covered. Plus this has been years in the working. So Christian's worked with many different magicians. He's been outperforming this on his own and a lot of time and effort's gone into Miracle One. So you know you're getting the best handlings and methods. Now this may have you asking, have I seen this type of effect before? Now Miracle One is an original effect made possible by layering a novel combination of methods to make it look incredibly fair and essentially impossible to backtrack. You may recognize the inspiration of the core idea from two amazing effects. Mike Rose's The Grail and Adrian Vega's Scandal. These creators not only offered full support for Miracle One, but also add additional praise for Christian's creative evolution of this concept. Now, can you repeat the effect? Now, Miracle One was actually created to be a closer or showstopper that you will use to really wow your audience. Now, while it can't be repeated for the same audience, it's super powerful and fair. There really shouldn't ever be a reason you need to perform this again. Now, is this a true ACAN? Well, in complete transparency, Vanishing Inc. would like to note that Miracle One is technically a card at any number effect. However, the way your audience will perceive it is as fair and straightforward as a true card at any number effect. They shuffle the deck and force the card on themselves in their hands. So they'll never suspect that they had anything else but a totally free choice of any of the available 52 cards. So can they name actually any number? Or as far as the audience is concerned, they can freely choose any number. Christian's super clever construction of the effect and scripting allows you to easily guide them into a necessary range of numbers needed to make the effect work. It is a large range and the way you subtly influence them is completely natural and goes unnoticed. So technically they can't name some of the largest and smallest numbers, but they will never even think to do so. The use of this particular range also plays as a key role in selling the fairness of the overall selection process and ultimately making the trick stronger. Now the burning question, is it examinable? Well, to a degree, yeah, it actually is because the spectator can handle both decks themselves. You can show the decks, have them handle it, but I wouldn't have them handle it for too long. Now, like I mentioned earlier, one is a gaff deck. So you don't want your spectator handling it for too long. They might find something fishy going on, but it is so well hidden, so well covered that they could handle it and almost never find out what's going on. But just be conscious of your audience and know which ones are gonna to wanna to examine that deck really hard. Which leads on to what are the angles on this? Well, the angles are absolutely pristine. This is meant to be performed close up, surrounded by spectators. You can spread the deck, you can show the deck, you can have them over your shoulder. There's nothing to hide. This is really, really clean. Now I'm sure you've had enough meat flapping my gum, so let's kind of wrap this up. Now did this stop me absolutely so hard, it fooled me so hard, and a lot of magicians online and even at the session convention were fooled by this as well. Again, if you were stumped by this, let me know in the comment section below with a thumbs up or a smiley face if you weren't and you know exactly what's going on. But I'm pretty sure I'm getting a lot of thumbs up in the comment section. I can see it now. Now Miracle One was designed to be a very fair and clean a can style effect that works every time, all without the complicated sleight of hand this amazing effect is within the reach of any magician. Now, some key points you need to take away from Miracle One is the spectator can shuffle and choose a card while the deck is in their hands. The matching card is always at their named number in the other deck. It's no difficult sleight of hand and the multi-layered methods make it impossible to backtrack. Now, Miracle One is wildly falling, insanely fair and a ton of fun. If you wanna see more on it, link in the description below right now where you can get it for $75. And you need a skill level of a beginner magician to do it. Now, unfortunately, my friend, that's all we have time for for Stump this week. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions about Miracle One at all, please leave them in the comment section below. Use the hashtag question time so I can find them amongst all the competition entries. Now, was there something else in the magic industry that stumped you this week? Let me know what it was in the comment section below. I'll take a look and review it in a future week's episode. Now, I'll let you get back to your Tuesday champion. So thanks again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow on a What's New this week on Saturday for a Saturday Sorcery. Or then again on our Discord, link in the description below to that for our weekly Discord hangout and jam or next week on another episode of Stumped. Now take care, see you later, bye for now. Whoa, look at this. Whoa, so much good magic in there, you, you need to check this out.
You're not gonna regret it. I, I, I pinky promise you. Oh, whoa! Look at this! This shining diamond over here. What is this? Beautiful. You probably should click that if you haven't subscribed yet. But then you should definitely check out this, because this, this is good. Treat yourself.